Hey everybody, we're here back with another things and stuff review, the show where we review things and stuff, you know, the thing. Anyway, today we've got the new re-release, or relatively new, uh, last year's re-release of the NX-01 by Diamond Select Toys and Art Asylum. This is a very welcome release, especially with the new updated electronics and paint. Uh, the packaging is pretty cool too, now with their standard uh, DST Star Trek packaging showing other products. They even included the coin that the original had, which is bizarre. I guess it was just in the dyes or molds, so they're like, ah, what the heck, let's put it in there anyway. So I've already cracked this guy open. Um, I remember I had the original, and I have the original uh, release, and we'll compare it to that and a couple other uh, iterations of the NX-01. Uh, but that was one of the first really nice high quality ships I ever had and it was a favorite item let's just put it that way anyway so we can see very nice detailing very nice detailing I don't know what they did they really stepped up their game on this one um, I guess the only thing at least I don't think it does oh it does I didn't even notice Never mind. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, very nice paint detailing. I haven't seen any errors or anything glaring on this one. Uh, the deflector dish is a little warped, but it's kind of a soft plastic. Um, but I think it might be heat, like with water, hot water, moldable. Um, but the engines are a little little tiny bit of skew but I think that's the design because these used to come off on the original one um, and they never really sat right on the original one either so like they weren't perfectly straight but also this cap is its own separate piece so it might have something to do with the placement of that also um, such a cool ship what else we got in the box we got the old stand now this I wish I don't know, I haven't tested it out on this stand, but hopefully, I think they said they enhanced the plastic in this, uh, no, screw it, Ugh. in this uh, new stand. But clear plastic is always dubious, in my opinion, just because it doesn't have the strength of regular opaque plastic. We got a set of instructions in there. And, you know, I used to be really good at getting these things out these uh, twisty wires, but now they're all, like they used to wrap them in a way that was, you just had to untwist them, but now they're all sorts of jinkity jank. Okay, slight amount of work later. Here we go. This is the piece I was wondering if they included, which is an alternate uh, cover for the stand hole. Those. It's all nice and taped up. This ship's going on display, so it will not stay in its collector packaging. I'll probably keep the box just in case, for whatever reason. <clears throat> there we go. All right, move along, move along. Or I dropped it, you know, whatever. Okay. Anyway, where are we? So yes, we have our alternate cover, uh, and this is so nice. They've included all the little red decals and uh, NX-01. Uh, let's see what it says. I can barely read what it says. It's, I think it's just gibberish. Danger, maybe? I don't know, the like letters are backwards. Danger, keep clear. Oh, danger, keep clear. Oh, they are backwards. It's kind of weird, but you can barely see it, like, at all. I can, I don't know, we might be able to, bleh, might be able to pick it up on there. But, um, but still, barely noticeable. I didn't even look on the bottom of this one. Let's see if this one has the same. Oh, it's... It's also reversed on this one, I think. Yeah or something, it's kind of weird. But anyway, that's a minor problem. I don't even know why I'm focusing on that. Anyway, here we go, we got our stand. 
Let's check that out. Feels a little more robust than the original one. We'll compare that to the original one, but uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the features. Got a warp effect. Oh, let's try this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we go. Stay on long range scanners. Keep an eye out for any Klingon ships coming this way. Two and a half impulse, that's it. Wow, those uh, impulse engines look really cool. Hello. This is the Starship Enterprise. Do you need assistance? Bring the grappler online. <laughs> channel. Bring the weapons online. Set a pursuit course. Archer to boarding party, come in. of the Starship Enterprise. We're on a mission of exploration from the planet Earth. Prepare for warp. So yeah, that is the sound functions if you just press the main bridge button a few times and then if you hold it down we get a very nice and very welcome lights on feature including bridge sound effects. which is a neat addition, and if you don't want the bridge sound effects, you press it once, and then it will just stay on. So, very cool. Hold on one second. Yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway, but yes, very nice rendition. Um, the detailing so nice. The model itself, I mean, when they originally came out with it, was still amazing. Uh, even the physical model, even the, the paint was pretty good for, for its time, but now they've very well surpassed it. I mean, they added this back here, all the little engineering bay details, these guys, the shuttle bay decals, whatever you want to call it, all this different new stuff. So they really, I think they hit a home run with this one. I would definitely recommend picking it up. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully not tragically. There we go. Yay. And it fits, doesn't jiggle too much. Although I, I would be moderately careful when handling it or, you know, getting it on there. Cause I could see this part being a little uh, dubious in terms of strength, but hopefully it should last. But there's that. So yes, the re-release NX-01, let's check out the original release, which is unbelievably dusty. There we go. So there we've got our classic version. Let's get you off the base. Turn that off. As you can see, much less metallic, and the engine wants to come off. All right, get out of here, box. There we go. Not as shiny but still very nice. Definitely missing some of the uh, paint apps. Um, on this one, I did go ahead and I uh, blackened all the windows. I painted those blue, uh, that blue, at least I think I did. I don't remember if that was on there or not. I uh, painted that white. Just a couple little additions just to make it a little more interesting. Um, I don't have any batteries in this one, but we'll play the original sound effects. Uh, you'll notice the bussards are a little uh, clear, almost, they almost look glassy, like a marble almost, if you can see that. These ones are a little more opaque on the inside, which is probably better for light diffusion and stuff like that. Um, there's that. And what would be the NX stuff without of course, the ISS Enterprise. I don't have the battle damage version, 
Uh, these two have the same electronics features and we can check those out really quick. Get the mic out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, I also painted the, um, R oops, sorry. I also painted the RCS thrusters on this guy. That's all the sound effects you have for that, and if you hold down the oh, bridge, it does just repeats the sound effects, so, or just repeats all of them in one continuous track, if you want to call it that. But the ISS one is really neat. You get a lot of extra detailing. Uh, they had these little rib things back here, because um, I know it's, I'm pretty sure it's taken from the CG model, and there's a couple, uh, in addition to, of course, the Terran Empire stripes, but you got those and this stripe, and I think there's something else. Maybe it's not on here. I thought there was another detail that was a little different. It might have been something back here. When I did my ISS Avenger, it was a point of study. Actually, I have to say the deflector on this is much better. Is it good on this one, too? Yeah. The deflector dishes on these are a little less uh, warped, shall we say. But still very cool, very cool. Um, it was always, like I said, always a favorite ship of mine. Um, let's throw up a couple more little comparisons. Let's go ahead, I don't know why, but here you go. Here's a Johnny Lightning battle damage. It's the only Johnny Lightning one I own. Kind of see that. It's a little size comparison. These guys can go over here. Oh, let's just stack them. There you go. It's a very awkward mating pose or something. There's that. Uh, let's get out the Eagle Moss. Check that out. Let's get out the NX-01-1000 scale. Technically this is going to be an Avenger, but uh, get a little bit of the size comparison. You guys go over here. And here's another one, Hallmark Ornament from something, 2002. And here's the F-Toys ships. You go over there. F-Toys. And just for next generation-iness, if you want to call it that, not really. There's the whoop, the crashed Eagle Moss refit special edition. So many, many little tiny NX zero ones. Um, I'm sure there's others made. Oh, I, I think I have an even smaller one that was made by um, oh Ramondo, I think it was the little microscopic one. But um, yeah, that's. I don't know what I you got out of the show that the others didn't have. If you watched this far, uh, it was a little more disorganized than usual, but uh, I hope that gives you an idea of whether or not you like the uh, new release of the NX01. It is pretty awesome. I would definitely recommend picking it up um, if you are an Enterprise fan or just like Starships, Enterprise lineage. Uh, just want something cool to display, or even a very spacey uh, lamp. And the LEDs are considerably brighter than the little rice bulbs, as you saw in the NX um, or ISS of, or ISS Enterprise. Of course, I think the batteries were a little low, but still. But this provides a light a lot, bleh, a lot better light and. They added the LEDs like here instead of just having one back there. At least I'm pretty sure they did. Um, those are really bright. Uh, and as far as I can tell, surprisingly, the light blockage on this is actually better than the other one because on the original release there was kind of a bright spot right here, which kind of worked. You could say it's the light, you know, it's the Raytheon effect doing the 
lighting up the registry, so it kind of worked, but I mean, we don't really have, so you can kind of see some blue right there. The nacelles look pretty good from what I can see. Might be a little bit of light leak, but nowhere near as uh, horrific as the um, Rathacon Enterprise. So I think it's it's a very nice kit. It's like, make them like this, just, just do this every time and they'll be glorious ships. Um, but yeah, that is the NX-01 by Art Asylum Diamond Select Toys Release. You can buy it at something. I'm sure I'll find a link and put it down there as a good link to uh, pick it up. So anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys next time for another Things and Stuff review.